Traditionally, hip surgery has always been treated as an open procedure, uh, and we did it mostly to gain loose bodies out of the joint as well as treat femoral acetabular impingement. However, more commonly, with the advent of sports medicine and arthroscopy, we're doing minimally invasive procedures using an arthroscope, small camera, small instruments, and smaller incisions. Hip arthroscopy and sports medicine are intimately tied, and with the evolution of sports medicine, we're doing minimally invasive operations, and we have better indications and more things we can do in the hip now with the scope and small instruments. We're able to do labrum surgery, femoral acetabular impingement treatment, where we take away the conflict between the head and the socket. We're able to do cartilage procedures, as well as treat hip instability. There's a large future for hip arthroscopy. The indications are evolving daily, and we have a lot of athletes who are now previously undiagnosed with hip problems and diagnosis simply groin injuries, are now able to get treatment and return back to play uh, on a more rapid and more effective basis. Diagnostic techniques have improved with MRI, clinical examination, as well as just recognizing that a lot of the problems that we previously thought were simple groin injuries are hip-related pathology which we can treat. Hip arthroscopy is rapidly evolving, and just like all aspects of sports medicine, this subspecialty itself is increasing daily in its indications, its applicability to athletes as well as non-athletes. Here at UPMC, we're able to not only do hip surgery, but also a lot of research in this area, which has helped improve our treatment of our patients. The main focus of hip research has been in hip preservation. We're trying to treat injuries and mitigate the effects of osteoarthritis in athletes and non-athletes collectively. What physicians should know is that there's a lot of indication of hip arthroscopy, not just in athletes, but also in non-athletes. We're trying to treat labrum injuries, we're treating cartilage injuries, and these indications are well suited to help people get back to playing the sport or returning back to their daily life with less pain.